Hello and welcome to Elgin Shoe Repairs. Here we have Hogs of Fife, a, a shoe boot, Goodyear welted, a full brew brogue style boot. We're going to have a full sole on it, a commando full sole. There's one of them really cracked right in the middle, this sole. And we'll turn over and we'll see the beginning. Oh, there's our logo. Let's get started. First, we uh, grind down the edges of the heel and put it under a heat lamp. The heat lamp, the heat will actually loosen off the glue, so we don't have to use any thinners. I don't like using thinners to thin the glue out to rip the heel off, simply because the thinners will run onto the uppers and they'll dry up the uppers. So that's been heated for about five minutes and it comes slightly slicing right off nicely and a second one then onto the soles what we do is grind down the sides of the soles and the stitching just to get the heads of the stitching off and the old nails that's the sparks all the way around the outside of the shoe just a few mils the sole the old sole is about five mils thick so we grind about maybe one or two mils just off the heads of the stitching so the sole again will just come off nice and easy you have to be careful not to go into the the goodyear welt but because the old sole is quite thick anyway then it's uh it's fine. So as you see, we've just taken off the heads of the stitching and the old nails. That's ready to go under the heat lamp. Same again with the other one. And as if by magic, it's all done. There you go. The magic of editing. That's them under the heat. Again, we'll leave them for five minutes. We can't leave these. If we leave these, they, they will burn to a crisp. So we are hovering over them, never going too far. Now to get a good distribution of heat, we'll have to lift them up and just hold them to where the actual heat needs to go. Just like that. Just to concentrate on the toes a little bit. And let's get them out now and see if we could peel them off. These are very good high quality shoes, boots I should say. They've got a sandwich piece, a little rubber sandwich piece in between the Goodyear welt and the outsole. And that's for comfort, for a little bit of cushioning. Now that's just peeling off really nicely. I've stopped at the heel because we haven't heated up the heel, but the heat will actually trans or transfer up to the heel so we might be lucky enough to to get the heel as well off on the all in the one -er. but we'll go on to the right shoe and see how this glue has come apart now that's very nice i love it when this uh that happens it's sometimes they're really really well glued and regardless of the heat you sometimes you have to just grind the whole thing off but that sole came off very nicely. The sole under heel. Now we're left with old stitching to take out. So this is a laborious job. It takes a good 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. But one by one, we take the old stitching off. I'll do a little bit just to, to show you what we do. So that's like a... Just... A U shape of a of a thread round another thread. So we pick every one of them out and just imagine we do this all round the shoe. I'll do these wee bits and pieces just to show you what the example is. As you see, we just get one side of the, the U and pull on it. Sometimes you miss. If we take our time, we could get it nicely like that. 
and we go around the whole shoe and take out the under thread and the over thread. So we just peel it off and see how that upper thread there will just peel right off. That's exactly what we're trying to get. That will come off in a one -er once we do the rest of these little bits of white thread. Now, as if by magic again, it's all out. The little elves did it. Now, next thing we have to do is rough up the soles, the new sole that's going on, and the, sh the shoe itself. We're not taking much off, we're just taking maybe a mill off, just to scratch it so the glue sticks a lot, lot better. Doesn't take too long. First the shoe, then we'll do then we'll do the sole, the new sole that comes on. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's still some residues of old glue there. And then we've got a nice action of roughing up the soles, the new sole that's going on. And I think that was a wee bit editing. I think that was the second one. And that's ready for the glue now. So we use a Bostic 6092. It's a rubber leather glue. And we'll see. We'll give it a good liberal glue, maybe about a mil thick on nice even all over the shoe. With this kind of glue, you have to leave this attack glue. It's a uh, an adhesive that you have to leave for a good 10 minutes and then put it under the, the heat lamp. For, and then the molecules will just dance around and start sticking to each other, so that's fine. So we'll leave that to, to dry. We'll do the other shoe. Then into the here. Oh, Ben has taken over. I must have went for the kids, picked them up from school. So we. Uh, Put the full sole under the heat lamp and then we heat up the shoe with a heat gun. We find this is a, one of the better ways. To try and fit a boot into the heat lamp is a, is a bit of a struggle. So we've, we put these soles on from the toe first and then back up to the heel. And uh, we've hammer down the middle of it first, then work our way up to the sides. Simply there's no air pockets, or very very few air pockets. So once that's all nice and stuck, we'll leave it for a little while, maybe five, ten minutes, and then we uh, do our first shaping of that new sole to fit the to fit the shoe. We've got a nice one, and you notice there we've uh, cleaned up the heel part where the heel goes on before we stitch because you don't want to rough over the stitching. Now with this uh, outsole stitching machine, with rubber heels, we, we've tried most things to make it go smoothly. Being rubber, it is quite, it could stick the machine, especially at the toe, because toe is a bit thicker uh, on these kind of uh, full sole commandos. That we, we use all, all kinds. We've used uh, furniture polish just to get it round, just for the the ease. We've used uh, soapy suds to go around the edges. Uh, but he's, he's, Ben's doing a very good job here, right round the heel. Very nice. Oh, Ben is a bit of a perfectionist. Even if he gets one stitch wrong, he's uh, he's very unhappy. So let's go on to the that the left shoe, and do it again. Same as the right shoe. And off he goes. And take my word for it, it uh, it went out fine. Now we've put the heels on these Ogs of Fife boots. And we're on to one of our final stages. You see the overhang on the heel and round by the Goodyear welt. We're going to have to take all that down, make it all nice and flush.
and we've got a beautiful nice clean machine to do that so Ben's back on the the scouting bands and what's he's on he's on the 24 grit sandpaper band and what you're looking at is a, a skilled technician making it look easy it is very and then we go on to on to our uh, 80 grit sanding wheel now it's very easy to make these heels look like a 50 pence piece uh, what we're doing is just taking a minimal amount of material off just to make it nice and smooth and round that's the heels done uh, we're going to the hole the sole which uh, we have a mini band and that's just exactly what it sounds like it's a mini band uh, with a guide and again there's no straight edges on any shoe this takes years to actually perfect we have to be careful we don't gouge into the the Goodyear welt what happens when you stitch rubber uh, onto a Goodyear welt is that it compresses and on to uh, inking inking the edges of the sole to make it all a uniform and colour and then we'll have to let it dry well, let's uh, fast forward this a little bit again obviously we try not to get it onto the the uppers right second attempt let's fast forward this <laughs> there we go just at the beginning stages of editing that's one bit second or third video that we're doing here at elgin shoe repairs there we go now let like that dry oh we'll have to show you this one this is a pair of uh, leather soles that we've done and shined up what a shine on these shoes a beautiful leather sole that's a Blake stitch, which is a stitch from the inside of the shoe to the outside of the shoe. Not a good year stitch. And we were quite happy with them. They shined up really nicely. Not another quality pair of shoes. Now we'll leave these to dry. Now they've been dry. And what we're doing now is uh, putting a hard wax on the edges of the shoe. See how we go with the, uh, the direction of the, the, there's actually a mop not a brush it's actually a mop so we put hard wax onto the mop and then we apply the the wax from the mop onto the the edges again not trying not to get to the the uppers we don't want to touch the uppers we put brown and then we put a little bit of black on we put a black sorry we put a brown undercoat on and then we blacken it up uh, to make it a dark brown with a bit of black there's our polishing station we're uh, we're going to use saphir polish and these have been a bit neglected so we're going to have a liberal coating of saphir polish and we'll get into right into the tongue and into the nooks and crannies and because we're superhuman we'll put it on four times the speed this is actually what we do every time you know we're, we're superhuman at elgin shoe repairs and there we go and we get our bigger horsehair brush and we buff them up now that has its nice undercoat that's a, that's a good foundation for the rest of the the rest of the the polish to go on now we we hang it up on a, a shoe butler and then we get to work on shining up the toes This is the, a, it takes a lot of time doing this, but it is well, well worth it. Circular motions. Give it a nice, less is more with this polish. The Saphir polish is, if you put on less, then it shines up a lot, lot better. But you'd, you'd have to do it over and over again. 
Oh, we've uh, went, we went supersonic again. We've speeded this up. That's a horsehair brush. And then we'll uh, polish it off with a, a cloth. I think we should have uh, Benny Hill music there. And there, as if by magic and the magic of editing, we've all got a finished product. Turned out really well. They've got more year, lots more years ahead of it for a, a comfort wear. And there we go. Shined up well. We could do a, you could do a lot better with the toes. You could build them up. But they're everyday shoes. They're working shoes. And they're very, very good quality shoes. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.